food, our major food is Ugali. So guys, I can take Ugali in the morning with tea, I can take Ugali in the afternoon with the veggies, I can take Ugali in the evening. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you are doing fine. I'm also doing fine. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. In case you are new here, welcome, Karibu Sana. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for being loyal and coming back to watch my videos. In case you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed, kindly please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. In case you are watching this video and you haven't watched my other videos, kindly please go check them out, like them, drop a comment and let me know what you think about my videos. So guys, I'm super excited today and today I want to do something different. I want to give you a differences between Mombasa and Kakamega. So of course, if you have watched my other videos in my production videos, I said I am an ICT tutor and I come from Kakamega, but currently I'm staying in Mombasa, staying and working in Mombasa. So guys, today I want to give you the differences between the two towns, of course. Hope you are going to enjoy the video till the end. And before we get into the video, consider subscribing, give the video a like and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about my videos. So let's get started. Mombasa is found in the coastal part of Kenya and Kakamega is found in the western part of Kenya. That is the first difference, of course. Difference number two, it is in terms of weather. When it comes to Mombasa, it is relatively warm. The weather of Mombasa is relatively warm. So it also means that you have to put on some light dresses and so on, or some white clothes. But Kakamega, which is my hometown, where the weather is so cold, food, 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 food. Of course, guys are Maluya. Why should I deny? I am Maluya from Kakamega. So in Mombasa, every meal is pilau or biryani. But Kakamega, our basic food, our major food is Ugali. So guys, I can take Ugali in the morning with tea. I can take Ugali in the afternoon. With the veggies, I can take Ugali in the evening. And Mombasa, well, they are full. Okay, they eat Ugali, yes, but not as much as we do in Kakamega. Another food difference is in Kakamega, we take tea maybe with sweet potatoes, yams, or arrowroots, some cassavas, and so on. But here, their snacks are like gazikarai, bajia, I'm hungry. In Kakamega, we do not use mahamri, we have mandazi instead of. So, mahamri is another version of it's another version of mandazi. So, in Kakamega, we have mandazi, in Mombasa, we have mahamri. In Kakamega, number three, guys, it is water. Me, I didn't know we have salt water. I have grown knowing that water is just water and it is fresh water. When I came to Mombasa first, I was like, well, how is this water tasting? Then I was told, no, here we have fresh water and we have salt water. You know salt water, it has a lot of sodium chloride, guys. So here, water, actually water is a very thing. Greetings. Well, in Mombasa, you can greet a person like a thousand times in a day. Hi, he's on a gun, but in Kakamega. You can only greet a person maybe in the morning, in the afternoon and evening, or even maybe in the morning and that's all. In Mombasa, you meet a person at a different place, you greet. When you meet again, you greet. When you meet, you greet. Like, a greeting is very much essential in Mombasa. And the fact that a greeting is essential, I like the fact that the kids are very respectful. When you go somewhere, even if the kids do not know you, they just greet you. Shikamo anti, shikamo babu, shikamo nyanya, shikamo. I like it. The kids are very disciplined. Yeah. And I feel the greeting is people from Kakamega need to adapt. Maraba. So a greeting is very much essential in Mombasa, guys. If you are planning to come to Mombasa, guys, then be ready to be greeting people even a thousand times in a day. Next difference, guys, come to Mombasa. I can't 
say I didn't know how to speak Swahili, but my Swahili was not fluent in this Mombasa accent. So you know where I come from, Kakamega. When I want to ask someone for something, for example, help me a pen in Kiswahili, and say, in my home where I come from, and say, Saidieko Kalam, where? Nipeko, Ujako, Ujakem to Mombasa, guys, it was another story. I had to sit down, listen and release it so that I can know what to speak, so that I don't speak my own things. I just love their Swahili. If you want to know how to speak fluent Swahili, guys, you need to come to Mombasa, guys, to be able to speak a very fluent Swahili, unlike ours in Kakameka, but ours is very funny. You can imagine Saidiego, Kujago. Guys, the language is very much important. And despite the fact that Mombasa is cosmopolitan, we have several people, several cultures, several languages. Yeah, but Swahili is the most commonly spoken language in Mombasa. So when you come from Kakamega, if you are coming to Mombasa, just be sure to speak Swahili, fluent Swahili. Clothing, another difference. Clothing. When I came from Kakamega, I only knew of normal clothing like skates and dresses and the likes. But the most common clothing in Mombasa for the ladies is the dera. Of course, I said Mombasa is relatively warm. So deras are light clothes. I just like clothes for the ladies. Yeah, those are the common clothes for the ladies. For half the lessos or kankas, you can use them to wrap on your waist, around your waist. Or even you can decide to make a dress a skirt out of it and it always have a Swahili proverb, guys, a kanga or a leso. For example, Swahili proverb here. Yeah. Any kanga has to have a Swahili proverb. Mwenda pole, hajikwai, those are their proverbs and so on. So guys, Mombasa is an amazing place and I don't mean that Kakamega is not an amazing place, guys. Of course, I was born and raised in Kakamega and indeed, it is an amazing place, guys. If you are in Kakamega and you want to come to Mombasa to visit, you are highly welcome. If you are in Mombasa and you want to visit Kakamega, you are highly welcome. That is another difference, the clothing, yeah which is good of course. We have entertainment. Growing up in Kakamega, I don't think I have seen many entertainment places in as much as I've seen in Mombasa. So Mombasa has a lot of amazing places for kids, for everyone and so on. For example, we have the beaches. Mombasa has got amazing beaches. We have pirates, we have Niani Beach, we have Mombasa Beach, we have Niani Beach. Those are amazing places, guys. Even Kibarani has been renovated for kids, or you can just go there and hang out and so on. And like in Kakamega, I actually do not know many places in Kakamega where you can go have some fun. I know they are, but they are not as many as they are in Mombasa. So Mombasa is an amazing place, if I can say. And if you are planning to come, you don't even need to think twice. Just pack and come to Mombasa.